guys, it's Steph, and in today's video, I wanted to do a full day of what I'm going to be eating now that I live alone. And I'm actually excited to start cooking and, you know, making a bunch of fun stuff that I've never made before. But I was about to make breakfast, and I'm like, Let's film it, because I've not done a video in this kitchen yet, so I'm excited. I've been buying so many groceries, and I have so much stuff that needs to be eaten up. <laughs> Let me show you guys a quick little preview of my fridge and my pantry, just to show you how much stuff I've been buying, because you guys know me, I'm a foodie. I feel like it's very interesting to see someone else's fridge, but... Yeah, I kind of need to organize it, but I think I'll organize everything in a vlog. But I got a ton of hot sauces already. I got my iced coffee, you know, all my condiments because I love my sauces. Got this cute little vegetable tray. I love this. I might take the lining out of it so I can kind of see what's in there. And then, of course, I have eggs, lettuce, fruit, some juices, a bunch of hummuses. I bought this pizza because it has like big mozzarella balls on it and it looks really good. We have some overnight oats that I still need to eat for breakfast. That is so annoying. It beeps like after like 20 seconds of being open. And then I just have these cheeses and nuts, mashed potatoes and that stuff. And then a whole bunch of cheese. You guys know me. My favorite cheese. Baby Bell. My favorite cheese ball. I always like having one of those on deck. <laughs> um, biscuits, cream cheese feta, little spicy guacamoles. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to try those. And then this pantry has some jarred sauces, oatmeals, little granola bars, kind bars, all that. And then up here has all my stuff that I kind of put on a salad or oatmeal or like yogurt bowl, have some nuts, and then a whole bunch of crackers for all my hummuses. And if you guys think that's my pantry, no, 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 no. Here is the fun snack pantry. I got it all. I freaking love food. <laughs> I love my snacks. So I have, you know, my favorite Peppa Pig cookies, <laughs> a basket of chocolate, these flaming hot cheese balls, which I actually wanna get another one of these from Target put it here because I kind of don't like how the white doesn't really match. I'll have to put them somewhere else. Then I got Flaming Hot Doritos, Flaming Hot Munchies, Salt and Vinegar Chips, Cheese Balls, Cheese, a whole bunch of chips. And then I have Pancake Mix, Brownie Mix, Little Bites. I haven't even had those in forever, but I was at the store and they looked good, so I bought them. Then up here is all my pastas, lots of mac and cheese, lots of noodles, some ramen, and the good stuff. <laughs> and I've been having so much fun decorating my kitchen. I got this foodie sign the other day on Amazon. Isn't that so cute? A person that has the unique ability to turn a casual meal into passionate, into a passionate life-changing experience. I love it. I don't really know where I'm gonna hang it yet. Maybe over there or like on the side of there. But for breakfast today, I want to make pesto eggs. So I made these Actually, was it yesterday? No, two days ago, because I saw the recipe on TikTok. I was like, ooh, I love pesto, so I wanted to try it out. Um, and then this time, let's see how my avocados, my avocados are still hard. I need to take those out of the fridge. Because the sandwich, or the bread calls for a slice of bread, some cheese, avocado, and then your egg with pesto. I didn't add cheese the last time, or the avocado because they're too hard. I need to take them out of the fridge so they get soft, but <laughs> I have so much stuff I need to eat, I think they're just going to stay in there. So you put pesto in the pan and you don't even need like Pam because like the oil's from the pesto. Mmm, pesto's so good. So then you just crack the eggs on top of the pesto. And then I'm just using two slices of Dave's Killer Bread. This bread has like so many grains and everything in it. It's really good for you. And it's actually really good. And I like the thin sliced ones. Oh, there's mold on them. Oh shoot, I just ate these two days ago. Oh, is that a bad, is that bad? I didn't even have this for that long. Okay, well, <laughs> oh no. 
bought these bagels the same day. I feel like the bagel will last longer. The bagel looks fine. I think, oh gosh, oh gosh, what do I do? Okay, I don't think I see any mold, so I'm gonna toast them. And then I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes on top, and some pepper, and some salt. And the bagels are done, perfect timing. All right, eggs are done. I'm going to cut them in half, and put one on each bagel. Actually going to melt some of this mozzarella and just slip it on under. And look how good this looks. Okay, let's give it a try. We're gonna put on some Texas Pete hot sauce. The yolk is about to break. <laughs> Mmm, perfectly cooked. So I made this the other day on that on that bread. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't moldy. I don't even know. Um, but it's actually really good on the everything bagel too. Hey guys, it's been a bit and I was just hula hooping for a long, long time. But I was on Instagram and I keep seeing like all these good like cookie dough things. Ooh, my freezer's like too cold. Everything is like getting iced over. Um, I need to do something about that, but I just need, sorry that was loud, I just really need a sweet, and these half-baked Ben and Jerry's things are so good, it's like dangerously good, like honestly, I could eat the whole bag, and I'm not even a huge like sweets person, like I'm way more for like chips and salty stuff, but, so in here there's chocolate chip cookie dough and fudge brownie pieces. Honestly, I couldn't even tell you which one I like better. They're so good. Mm. <laughs> I could use so many. There's like three different kinds that you could get in these at the store too. I think I got them at Target. Maybe I do like the brownie better. I don't know though. I like if I go to Dairy Queen or something, I usually get like the brownie batter stuff with the brownie chunks. Mm, I'm mm. Okay, I just kind of ate the cookie dough, but I am hungry for some lunch. So I got these cheese wraps at Trader Joe's not too long ago. Actually, yeah, kind of a while ago, but I just have not yet tried them. But I want to try them today because I have lunch meat that will be going bad soon. So I'm going to make a wrap with turkey, salami, um, banana peppers, and the sauce from Trader Joe's, and some spinach or lettuce, whatever. So we will see if this is good. I know the sauce is really good, though, because I tried it. The other day, it's so good. Looking good, and now let's see if we can roll it. Okay. We don't know how like stiff this is. I don't wanna pull too hard. Oh, well this is actually turning out really well. This is really good. I love cheese, so this is like perfect. I don't miss the tortilla. Mm. It is much, much later. I was laying out like all day. Do I look tanner from the last clip? I feel like I kind of do. <laughs> My legs maybe especially. But yeah, I was just out tanning for a while. But I am hungry. And I'm going to make something refreshing. A buffalo chicken salad. So I'm going to get... One of my favorite bowls, these gorgeous marbles, literally from Amazon. I can link them down in the description below or in the comments wherever you guys want. But they're so pretty and they're like nice quality and I love doing salads and pasta in here because it's like a wide bowl. So I have some thinly cut chicken that I'm going to cook up soon. I'm gonna get my salad ready first. So I'm just using some hearts of romaine lettuce. Let's make kind of a decently big salad since this is all I'm like having. We'll use like half the bag. 
and let me clean this. Okay, I just put it in my bowl. It's kind of not that much lettuce, but since I'm adding grilled chicken to it as well, I think it'll be filling enough. We'll see. And then I'm just gonna use some Taco Bell seven layer cheese and put this on top of here. And then I'm gonna use some of this spicy ranch dressing and then probably also some Frank's Hot just to make it even more spicy depending on how spicy that is. But I wanna make it spicy so we'll open this up too. I saw at the store that they have extra hot Frank sauce. I really wanna try that out. I love how they're making everything like extra, extra hot, like even the extra flaming hot Cheetos. Okay, so what I'm gonna season my chicken with is this one, I believe. My mom got this for me and my brother. My brother used it and he said it was so good. Or is it this one? Oh, this one's new. I think I bought, yeah, I bought this one. Honestly, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of both. And then also I'm gonna get my pepper. Okay, you guys, while I season this chicken, I know I'm using a big pot. I think I might just cook up all of the chicken yeah because i feel like whenever i don't cook it up then it goes bad and like whenever i decide i want to make chicken and it's like in the freezer then like i don't have time to thaw it out so i think i'm just gonna cook them all up so i'm gonna coat this pan in olive oil Three. Yeah, I guess I could just eat two buffalo chicken salads in a row. Except this is a lot of chicken. But once you cut it up and stuff. Okay. See, this is my issue. Now I need to wash my hands. Okay, hands are washed. It's hard with the chicken, you know? I don't want to be, like, extra careful, too. Okay, so first, let's season with this Nashville hot. Let's make it really spicy. I don't know how spicy this is, but we're going to use a lot of the seasoning and push it on in there. Push it on in there. Mm, this smells so good. So good. Push it in. And we're gonna flip. Add a little bit more. It's like we're making wings. Chicken wings. That's what it smells like. It's honestly making my nose run already. Okay, now let's add some pepper. Even though there's already probably pepper in one of those, so we'll just add a little bit. And then let's just do a sprinkle of, you know what, we're not going to use this because it's not even opened and I feel like this is good enough. And let's set it on in there. My brother taught me how to cook chicken, so he said right when it goes in, it sizzles and that's perfect. Yep, just like that. He actually was like a good teacher. The way he explained it, I understood it. And I've been having fun cooking chicken since. Okay. We will cover that and start the timer. I'll wash my hands. Okay, I'm gonna set the timer. It's probably been like a minute. You know what? I have a chicken fried. Cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that feet just right. In the radio, oh, 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 I like to see the sun rise. I used to hate country, but now I actually like it. There's this one song that I've been listening to on repeat. It's called Would You Go With Me by Josh Turner. It is so good. Would you go with me? Okay, let's look at him again. Let's flip these things. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Come on, Mr. Chicken. There we go. Oh, we got splashed. There we go. Mr. Okay, let's add a little bit of this ranch sauce down to the bottom. And then maybe we'll put another layer on the chicken. Frank's on top of this, and then we'll also add it on top of the chicken. I'm going to check the temperature. They are done. They cook so fast on my stove. It went up to 165, so. Look how good these look. It looks really, really good. Okay, now which piece should I cut up? Which one do I want? Kind of feeling that one. Mm. 
I'm gonna cube it. Maybe a little bit more of this one. Okay, let's try out the salad. Look how good it looks. Okay, let's give it a try. I am good. This is really good. Mmm. Well, I'm gonna go eat this and edit a video and enjoy. But that was my dinner. It's time for a little nighttime snack. So, I'm eating my banana bread. I am obsessed with it. It is so good. And I'm actually eating it, like the whole entire loaf. So I had this bit in the freezer, so I'm just gonna thaw it out in the microwave. Mmm, and look how good it looks. Like, this literally tastes like dessert to me, even though it's like good for you. Like, it's healthy. Bananas, and even though there's some chocolate chips in it, like, this is healthy. And it literally is so good. I'm obsessed with banana bread. Like, I'm choosing this right now over Cheetos or Doritos. That just shows it's good. And of course, you already know, we need to add a hunk of butter on there. <laughs> Ooh. Let's have a bite. Mm. Got my dishwasher going. Just loaded it up. It's full. My face definitely got some sun today. Mmm, so good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day, now living by myself. So basically what I cook in a day and eat. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.